Right, Shalom to the elect of Israel. First, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, Waha, Rekak, Wadash. Double honors to the apostles, a great millstone that taught us this truth. Right, uh, this uh, video, uh, I'm going to be speaking about the spiritual powers, all right, in the scriptures, okay? Um, I'm going to get some scriptures, you know, showing you that the Lord is going to help us in these last days, man. Okay, because, you know, the flesh is just, is battered, right? The flesh is weak. The the flesh is, is not to be, um, you know, uh, uh, you know, looked on to, to rely on, you know, to trust in. Okay, we have to trust in the spirit, the Holy Spirit of Yahweh Bashmi Yahweh Shai. All right. And, um, you know, the Lord said that the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. You know, you know, the flesh gets sick. You know, the, the body gets ailments, you know, plagued with sickness and disease. Uh, you know, tiredness. Fatigue, all those things, you know, the, the body gets exhausted. All right. So. You know, the Lord knows that and the Lord is going to help us, man. You know, the Lord is going to help the elect, you know, uh, in these last days. OK, uh, with uh, great tribulation, great perils ahead, you know. Uh, so the Lord is going to is going to be with the elect, man, you know, and the, the men of the Lord are going to be doing, uh, you know, miracles, you know. And a supernatural uh, Acts Okay so I want to read Isaiah 40 and verse 28 It says Has thou not known Has thou not heard That the everlasting power The Lord Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai The creator of the ends of the earth Faiteth not Neither is weary There is no searching of his understanding He giveth power to the faint And to them that have no might He increaseth strength Okay, so yeah, and this is the thing about our power, you know, you, you know, our Lord is a true living power, man, he, he, he don't get tired, you know, he, he doesn't, uh, you know, get weak, none of these things, okay, the Lord is, 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 you know, all powerful, all right, and the Lord knows how it is for us in this flesh, right? How we are down here on the earth. You know, he knows that, you know, we don't have might, okay? A lot of us, uh, you know, going through uh, struggles and, and this flesh is weak, you know? Uh, the scriptures tell you how the, you know, the saints of the Lord would be worn out. In this kingdom. Alright. You know. And that's that's what. You know. You know. That's. that's And especially being in this system. You know. Being in. You know. Wherever we. You know. You are. And you know. We all underneath this oppression. Of Esau. You know. The so called white man's oppressive system. You know. It grinds you out man. It. it you know. It. Um, wears you down. You know. So it's saying here that the Lord is going to give power to, to those that are faint, to those that don't have might, all right? It says he's going to increase their strength. Even the youth shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. So it shows you, you know, the state that we'd be in. Even our young men, those of, of their youth, which is supposed to be the top of their strength, which is when you're in your youth, all right? Even... They are going to be faint, right? They're going to be weary. They're going to have uh, weakness, um, sickness, ailments, all types of things, man. You know? But look what it says. It says, but they that wait upon the Lord, Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, shall renew their strength. So our strength is going to be renewed. Okay? You know, the Lord is going to increase our strength, man. You know, and it's going to be of the Holy Spirit. It's going to be uh, times where you think you're, you're, you're done. You think you can't, 
possibly, you know, go another step. Whatever situation or however, this, you know, it plays out, you know, the Lord is going to increase that strength, man. You know, the Lord's going to have it to where you keep going. All right. Even uh, to the point of where, you, you know, you're in a life threatening situation. OK, because we understand there's going to be those, uh, you know, tribulation, the times of Jacob's trouble. You know, you might have troops, you might have army men, you, you know, uh, officers, whatever. All right. You know, they may, you know, come in and, uh, you know, attack. You know. But the thing is that the elect of the Lord is protected. The Lord is with the elect, man. All right. To where, you know, you, you're going to be doing amazing things. All right. They show you in all the superhero movies. Uh, they show you in all these um, um, movies where, you know, the, the hero, you know, he has this this just ultimate power, okay? And he's just taking on how many other guys, how many other people, and he's destroying them. Well, that's our history, man, okay? We actually have that in our history. Um, hang on. All right, so yeah, I found it uh, with a word search. Okay, uh, the account of Samson, all right? And uh, Samson, all right, the Lord had uh, Samson in, endowed with a uh, great power, man. Okay, now let's read a bit of it here. It says, Judges 15 and verse, uh, verse 11. Okay, it says, Then 3,000 men of Judah went to the top of the rock, uh, Etan and said to Samson knowest thou not that the Philistines are rulers over us what is this that thou hast done unto us and he said unto them as they did unto me so have I done unto them and they said unto him we are come down to bind thee that we may deliver thee into the hand of the Philistines and Samson said unto them swear unto me that ye will not fall upon me yourselves and they spake Unto him saying no but we will bind thee fast and deliver thee into their hand but surely we will not kill thee and they bound him with two new cords and brought him up from the rock and when he came unto uh, Lehi the Philistines shouted against him and the spirit of the Lord Yahweh Bashmi Yahushai came mightily upon him you see so there it is again uh, I mentioned the spirit of the Lord it's the Holy Spirit of Yahweh Bashmi Yahushai all right that intervenes that moves that acts Okay, that comes upon his men to act and, and to do supernatural acts. Okay, now it says, and, and the cords that were upon his arms became as flax that was burnt with fire and his bands loosed from off his hands. So he got that power. All right, he got mighty strength to break those uh, bands that he was bound and tied up with. Okay. And it says, and he found a new jawbone of an ass and put forth his hand and took it and slew a thousand men therewith. All right. So a thousand men just taken out, just destroyed with the only weapon he had, you know, was that jawbone of an ass. All right. That donkey jawbone. OK, but that was the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai that came upon him mightily. All right. And slew a thousand men, one man. Samson slew a thousand men with that jawbone of an ass, all right? It says, and Samson said, with the jawbone of an ass, heaps upon heaps, with the jaw of an ass, have I slain a thousand men. And it says, and it came to pass, when, and you, you imagine that, picture that, man, all right? One man, all right, just going through uh, thousands and thousands, or hundreds upon hundreds of men at a time. All right, just going and destroying them, going through them. That you know, that's a sight to, to behold, man. But that's the power that the Lord gives to His men. That that's, you know, the Lord is is can even far exceed that and go beyond that. But there's an interesting point here when it I want to make when it goes on to say, and it came to pass when he had made an end of of speaking that he cast away the jawbone out of his hand, and called that place Ramathlai, and he was saw a first 
and called on the Lord and said, Thou hast given this great deliverance into the hand of thy servant, and now shall I die for first and fall into the hand of the uncircumcised. All right, so straight away it's showing you, you know, how it is, you know, in the flesh, man. Okay, because he just got through slaying a thousand men, you know, with the jawbone of an ass and, and, you know, you know, after all that, he, you know, he got all thirsty. Okay, and he called upon the Lord, you know, because he, he was, you know, you know, that thirsty. Okay, he said, what now shall I die for first? Okay, now it says, but Yahweh Barashim Yahashai clave a hollow place that was in the jaw, and there came water thereout. And when he had drunk, his spirit came again and he revived. Wherefore he called the name thereof Enakor, which is in Lehi unto this day. So, yeah, and that's a, a miracle in itself. The Lord allowed him to drink from the jawbone of an ass man, okay, after slaying a thousand men. So, you know, uh, another point, you know, to that, showing you how even after Samson can achieve something like that, Still, the flesh came in and, and still, you know, he was uh, uh, thinking he's going to die of first, man. All right. So how much more us now in this flesh? All right. We're really in a low state, man. We're in a low condition. All right. That's why going back into the scripture, how the Lord is going to strengthen us. All right. Let me finish it off. Isaiah 40 and verse 31. But they that wait upon the Lord, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Okay, so all these abilities is going to be done. All right, the Lord is going to have the spirit on his men to, to do supernatural acts, man. Okay, mounting up with wings, you know, that's flight. All right, eagles fly with their wings. All right, but we're going to have the ability to just up and fly. All right, it says they shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. So yeah, we ain't going to get tired. We're not going to be thinking we're going to be, uh, you know, there's going to be no limits. Okay, because the Lord is going to strengthen us, man, to get us to overcome. All right, and to glorify his name. Okay, his holy name, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. All right, this, that's what's going to ultimately be done. All right. Um, what is that? Jeremiah 51. I believe I want to get all right. Which I'm going to close out with this last scripture, all right? Because the Lord said, uh, that it will base it. Well, there's the scriptures that say that the Lord is going to make the creature his weapon, all right? Which is us, okay? The Lord is actually going to have, and, and the scriptures tell you that with the elect, um, the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom, all right? So that's going to be through the power of the Lord, man. The Lord is going to have to strengthen his men. He's going to strengthen the elect. All right. And he's going to use his men. All right. This is Jeremiah 51 and verse 20. It says, Thou art my battle axe and weapons of war. For with thee will I break in pieces the nations. And with thee will I destroy kingdoms. Okay. So it says, Thou art my battle axe and weapons of war. So we're the Lord's weapons. All right. We're, you know, his um his battle axe, okay, what we you he'll use to tear down these nations, man. You know, to judge the heathens, right? To punish these nations and to take and to destroy kingdoms. It says, And with thee will I break in pieces the horse and his rider, and with thee will I break in pieces the chariot and his rider. With thee also will I break in pieces man and woman, and with thee will I break in pieces old and young. And with thee will I break in pieces the young man and the maid. So, you know, that's just ultimate power, man. So you picture Samson slaying a thousand men. All right, well, in in these last days, the Lord is going to far exceed that. You know, breaking down, throwing tanks, throwing buses, throwing buildings, buildings over. Like in the movie um, um, Brightburn. Okay, at the end of the movie Brightburn, they showed you how he was flying around tearing up the cities all right it's gonna be that far out man it's gonna be even better than even that okay because right now this earth and people there living in this soft cushion idea and view of the world all right but really 
we're in a time of great change, man. All right? A time of transitions of power. And the Lord's going to go far and beyond. He's going to go far out, man. Okay, this is the, the, the last days, all right? The Lord's going to go all out, all right? And, and all of these strange acts, all these things are going to be taking place, man. All right, so I'm going to end it there. Lord willing, this was edifying. Um, let me close out with the last scripture. All right, this is Daniel chapter 7. Yep, 7 and 8. This is Daniel 7 and 18. It says, But the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever, even forever and ever. Okay, so the Israelites, which are the saints, they're going to take down the kingdom. Okay, of the of the heathen of Esau, these Edomites, through the spirit of Yahweh Shai. Okay, because it's the Lord Yahweh Shemiah Shai that is going to be leading the charge. Okay, because the scripture said they that wait upon the Lord. So this is the thing about it's not our own strength. All right, being able to have all this super strength, being able to run fast like the flash, being able to slay you know a thousand of our enemies and and more. That's not anything to do with our own uh greatness or our own good or our own power or strength it's all of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai all right as it is written according to prophecy all right and the Lord is going to have this done to exalt his his holy name okay they're going to know that the nations were taken down and brought down by the power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai all right and that the Lord's chosen people the Israelites were saved and delivered by the power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right, they are going to be uh, establishing the kingdom through the power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, which is an everlasting kingdom. All right, that's only through our Lord, okay, who's going to change us and make us perfect to where we'll never fall, we'll never, uh, you know, uh, you know, be brought that brought down again. Okay, so yeah, Lord willing, this was edifying. Uh, I'm going to end it there. I'll say all praises be to Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shawa Rikha Kwadash and to the elect Shalawam.